Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So today with another video for you guys. Now, sorry, I'm talking really quietly again for this video. It's currently 5:38, as you can see on screen. Uh, sorry for this whole inception kind of thing. But welcome. I'm going to teach you guys the best settings for DX Story to record Counter Strike, which is actually a really popular game. Uh, lately, it's just blown up uh, like hugely, I guess. And I really haven't found a good uh, video illustrating best settings for DX Story to record Counter Strike um, since the Nvidia Shadow Play doesn't work for me. So uh, straight off the bat, what you want to do is go to Profile. Uh, your game should come up here. Usually, when you open up the program, it will just be say default. Uh, if your game doesn't show up, then open Counter Strike and then um, go to DX Story. It should pop up here. When it comes to overlay settings. Usually this color would be more of a yellow, but I turned it to red because it's more generic. Um, basically, the the FPS counter it will turn red when you're recording, so that kind of tells you, lets you know when you're recording. That's what I do. Um, now, with this comes, this is a pretty important part. What a lot of people don't realize is if you want DX Story to record very smoothly and you don't want to drop any frames during recording. Um, all you have to do is put it on a separate hard drive as you can see I got three hard drives this one I had for GTA 5 but I haven't got GTA no more so I've just I just like keep it free in case I get GTA again but um, as you can see I made a file within uh, local disk 2 uh, just for DX story a lot of people don't realize if you put it on local disk C then because because your OS is on local disk C um, your hard drive read and write speeds will be lower so if you do it on an external hard drive I mean not external hard drive if you do it on a secondary hard drive then your your essentially your read and write speeds will be maxed like doubled uh, now the next setting is hot hot key settings uh, I use F uh, F12 because Counter Strike doesn't require um, F12 for like any functions in game so I, I use F12 the rest of it you don't really need to worry about unless you're taking screenshots in which case you could change these anything anything you want on your keyboard or anything you could change that to that movie settings uh, I just use default settings along with um, a lot of people don't realize that this is how it will show like when you first open up movie settings uh, the drop down menu usually it doesn't show uh, the the Lagerith Lossless Codec, if I said that wrong, my bad. Um, but I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, all you have to do is just go click on the link, download it, and install it. It's basically like installing any other program. Uh, download it, restart DX Story, and then that should come up in the drop down menu. Just click on that. And then you want to click on this little pen thing. Uh, mode, it'll originally, when you first install it, it will just say RGB. Change it to YV12. And then put use multi uh, multi threading if you have more than one core on your PC. If you don't know uh, how many cores you got, all you have to do is do Control Shift Escape, and then all you have to do is go to Performance, and then as you can see, I got one, two, three, and four four um, threads or cores in my CPU. Uh, a lot of popular cards or chips will have eight. Uh, lo a lot of the new uh, i7 ones are coming out with 8 but yeah you could do that to check it out uh, where did it go let's quickly run that again but yeah um, use multi core, uh, multi threading and then click ok that should be fine uh, FPS you could do 120 60 FPS um, I'd recommend 30 if you if you haven't got a good enough computer for like 60 FPS or if you're playing something competitive like Counter Strike you want less uh, frame frame drops then I'd recommend 30 uh, file output leave that how it is uh, file format make sure that make sure that's on AV and then now percent you want to keep that on 100 on both of them and then size uh, this depends on what you guys want if you want 720 capture you do 1280 by 720 uh, however, if you want to do 1080, you do 1920 by 1080. Um, going down this side, you don't need to change anything else. Uh, audio settings. Now, originally, um, 
that won't be. It will originally it will be like this. This this means that it will record um, game audio or if your game audio is wired through to your headphones, then click your headphones. If you want to do a live commentary, uh, click this add audio. Go click on it again, and then you could just go ahead and click your microphone. I got my high audio definition, whatever. I usually keep the volume on a hundred, just so just to make sure I got everything captured. It helps a lot. Um, also, I just do record sound. If you want to use a push to talk hotkey, you could do that. Um, you could put this up to like stereo if it's got it. There we go. Um, I don't really need to change anything. I feel like that works. Screenshot settings keep that as it is. Nobody really uses it. At right, this part is quite uh, easy. A lot of people say leave it like at one, but because if you've got more than one core. Um, usually I put it on 4 and then within game I put it up so uh, processing threads I leave it I put it at 4 the rest of it leave it how, leave it how it is now all you have to do is just click minimize open up your game and then once it's loaded up all you have to do is just press F12 or whatever hotkey you've done as you can see at the top right it goes red so now that it's red you can see that it's recording once you've finished your recording all of that press F12 again uh, you could go over to whatever disk you decide to put it in. As you can see, I got DX Story here, and my capture will show up here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you if you guys want a tutorial on how you could get DX Story for free, um, I could make a tutorial like that on my channel. Hope you guys found this informative, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.